my Scorpios, Elsie here to do a reading for you. Yeah, it looks a little bit different just because I am out and around and I still want to get the readings out for you. So this is what I'm doing uh, while I am out and around until I can get back home to my studio. So we are uh, looking at the uh, Divine Energy Oracle for uh, some overall energy for the reading. Then we have the Oracle of the Fairies for some more um, information and energy, um, overall energy. We are going to be doing the reading with the uh, Light Seers Tarot, and then I'm going back to my Universal Celtic Tarot for clarification. So I'm just going to ask Spirit if I could have, please, two cards for our Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Thank you if you're just joining us for the first time. I hope you'll hit the subscribe button and uh, maybe the button to the right of that, which is the button that will allow you to know when I am uploading. I will be uploading weekly until the end of the year. There's one card, if I could have one more, please. Overall energy for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter from today until about September the 5th. Things are falling around, and here we go. Okay, forgive and forget. Oh, we got three. Forgive and forget. So, if you are having a hard time with someone, someone who, you know, has crossed you, who has done you wrong, um, you know, forgive and forget is a yes and a no for me. Um, I would say forgive for sure. Sometimes forgetting is necessary, but not in all situations. Sometimes it's good to forgive, but sometimes it's really good to remember. So you just don't have it done to you again. Um, and make a plan. So we have make a plan. So make sure if you are going in to do this forgive and forget, make sure that you have a plan. Because, you know, um, it's more... It's, it's far more sincere if you do go in for with a plan, if you take it into meditation, manifestation, and think about it, think about what you're going to say, and um, if you are making amends with somebody to forgive and forget, then I would say making a plan is definitely what you need, and then ask for forgiveness with sincerity, or ask... Um, um, ask for their forgiveness or give them forgiveness, but please ask with sincerity. Please make sure that you do. And then we have Oracle of the Fairies. We need one card from here, please. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. If you're my Scorpios and you're coming back to see me, thank you so much. You know how much I adore you. And I adore my Scorpios. One card, please. Overall energy. And we've got too many here, so I'm going to ask again. One card, please. Overall energy, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter from today until the 5th of September. And here we go. We've got new beginnings. So this kind of all goes together, right? So forgive and forget. If you need to give forgiveness or you need to get forgiveness, make sure you make a plan. Ask for that forgiveness with sincerity or ask someone to forgive you or ask if, if um, you can forgive them. And um, new beginnings is what you shall get. So we have new beginnings, and it says, The fairy godmother heralds um, the joyous news of a new baby or the birth of um, a child, no, a cherished idea. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, protect and nurture your ideas as you would a baby. So this is new beginnings. Something is coming up that is going to be brand new. I have a feeling that it might be something to do with asking for forgiveness or receiving forgiveness. So, let's go into your reading here, Scorpio. I'm just going to call in for some help. So, um, if I could have uh, Archangel Michael, Uriel, please. If I could have my angels and guides present. If I could please have gods and goddesses as well. And the holders of the pure white light to bless me. So I will be safe as I open up a channel with spirit for our Scorpios, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for the week ahead. All right. Good. Feels good. Let's cut these guys here, and now we need nine cards, please. Nine cards for our Scorpios. There's one. We have the Hanged Man. What else do we have here? Oh, maybe I'll put it here. Hanged Man. We've got the Two of Pentacles. We have... The Knight of Swords, Seven of Swords. We've got the Queen of Pentacles here. You know what, guys? I've got to put them up here because 
I don't think we're going to have enough room. I'm in a very small space here. <laughs> okay. There we go. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for the sign of Scorpio, please. Thank you. Three more cards. Got the Judgment card. Scorpio. 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 Two more cards, please, for Scorpio. Thank you. Got exactly two. Got the Empress and the Queen of Wands. All right. What do we have here? Let me take a look. much better. I'm going to move this here. I'm glad I'm on a rolling system here. There we go. Okay. Good. All right. Okay. So you do know that it's past, present, and future. This is about two months ago. So we're looking at June, July, August, September, October, November. Um, we are at the end of August, so this is going to roll over into the next month. And um, what do we have here? We have, um, you know, I like to read it all the way around, but the first place I like to go is the center of all things. So the heart of the matter, it looks like, is judgment. So either you're making a big judgment, Scorpio, um, you're coming to a conclusion about something, or there is someone who is coming from your past to your present, um, that might be someone who is going to ask for um, forgiveness or um, someone who is going to give forgiveness, one of the two. So um, we do have someone who may be coming from your past to your present. It is all about resurrection, right? So it could be about a reconciliation. And when I say that, I don't mean that you're getting back together with an ex. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is, is that you are going to be um, seeing someone from your past come back to your present and it could be for the purpose of a new beginning and asking with sincerity for you to forgive them for something that they have done in the past. Now, could this be an ex? Absolutely. But it could also be a best friend. It could be um, a father, a mother, a sister, a brother, a cousin. You know, it could be anybody really. It doesn't have to be an ex. So um, I think that at the heart of the matter, I think that you want to give forgiveness or get forgiveness for something. Um, so we have, starting up in the left-hand corner here, um, we have the hanged man. So we see you opening up the, the reading here with um, something that, um, something that you have to get clarity on, something that you're looking at from, from um, every possible angle, looking at something, trying to see it with a different type of clarity perhaps making a, a decision, but really wanting to look um, beneath the surface of the issue. I feel like there was, um, maybe there was a, an argument or a breakup or a friend that, that you had a fight with or someone, you know, maybe you guys ended up, you know, blocking each other on Facebook. I feel like you've been in the stasis of the hanged man for quite some time wondering about this person, wondering how to go back into them and get your forgiveness or give your forgiveness. Um, it could be someone who, um, who you know, you haven't talked to in a while, someone who has blocked you or you have blocked them on social media, perhaps. But I do see that what is going on here is, is leaving you in a bit of, a bit of a place where you're juggling. Um, now, when I say juggling, I think you're juggling memories, really. Um, this, of course, is pentacles, and pentacles can be money, but pentacles can also be abundance, and um, earth energy is what they are, so Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo, um, and I feel as though you are juggling uh, memories uh, that you might be thinking about things to say. Should I ask forgiveness? Should I give forgiveness? You're juggling back and forth. I'm not really sure what I'm going to do, but you're trying to get clarity. You're trying to make a plan and you're because you're going to either ask with sincerity or hope that they ask with sincerity. But I feel as though you came to this conclusion quite quickly and that um, you feel as though that time is running out and it's been too long and it's time for you 
to go into that person and have a conversation with them. The Knight of Swords, of course, brings in messages, um, and the Knight of Swords is the Knight of Swords is kind of clunky, right? Like he, um, he is uh, he is uh, Libra, Libra, uh, Gemini, and um, and Aquarius, but you know the, the Knight of Swords is kind of. Um, uh, you know, sort of bumps into things, not really clear, doesn't really, doesn't really speak clearly about the things that need to be done. But the thing is, what the Knight of Swords does is just shows up, just shows up and says, hey, I know you've been, you've been thinking about, or I've been thinking about coming into you. I, I know that we need to have a different plan in order to be able to see each other again, or be able to be friends, or or get along in, in family gatherings, or whatever it is. But I feel like this happens suddenly. Um, and it causes it causes you to feel as though the person is not really um, honest that it, it's almost as if I feel the feeling that I feel is that there's a, an upper there's not an opportunity but there's maybe a gathering coming up a gathering of friends maybe a um, a gathering of family it could be a, a family reunion or something like that and this person feels like you guys need to mend fences before this particular meeting or party or gathering comes up because um, and that's why you feel that they are still in deceit. You feel as though it's not going to be a sincere forgiveness um, or a new beginning because this person, you still don't trust them for some reason. Now, they will be coming from the past to the present. There will be a reconciliation or a resurrection of some sort of a relationship friendship, love ship, cousins, friends, whatever it is, um, you know, take it as it resonates. But I feel as though that the whole point of you guys seeing each other in this current energy is to become stable, um, is to get really good, um, is to become stable with your, with your energy. You know, the queen of pentacles, she is, um, she has financial stability, but she is stable. She's grounded. And um, what I, I like to see with this particular card is you'll notice her eyes are closed, right? So she's actually feeling it rather than seeing it. She's feeling it. And she is the charitable queen. You know, she is willing to um, to help anyone who is in need financially or otherwise. She's a multitasking queen. She will be watching your kids, the other kids. You know, so there's there could be a matriarch. Um, or someone of significance that you both know coming up in this meeting um, of people or a group of friends or whatever it is. And this person, um, this Taurus uh, Virgo Capricorn person who is very grounded, very sturdy, is going to be the person who is going to try and pull this all together, who's going to try and get you two to forgive and forget. And I think it may be the Queen of Pentacles who is going to help make a plan and maybe speak with you so you can ask for sincerity with um, with sincerity f to be forgiven for, you know, let's just say, let's not necessarily that you've done anything wrong, Scorpio, but um, but just letting bygones be bygones because the, the energy, the bad energy that comes with, you know, um, being cut off from somebody, blocking somebody, um, it, it's just too much of a heavy energy to carry. And I feel that you, Scorpio, that because you're, you are a conductor of energy, you are water and water being a conductor of energy, it's just too heavy for you to feel. It's too heavy a burden for you to carry around. So I feel as though um, that you don't quite trust this person. They could be an air sign. They don't have to be. Um, they could also be an earth sign. They could be, um, yeah, we've got air, we've got earth. Um, they could be a fire sign as well. But I feel like up here, um, I feel like eventually things are going to come together and there is going to be a period of forgiveness. Now, I don't necessarily feel as though you're the one that's going to be doing the forgiving. I don't know who is, but we'll find out in clarity. We'll clarify and, and see if we can find out more about this. But I think going into the future, it does get resolved. Or at least you two come to a place where um, where you can... Um, where you can uh, tolerate each other, be in the same group, be in the same room. This could also be a marriage that's broken up and now you're coming back together to try and be able to get along so you can co-parent for the children. So um, this, I feel this heavy energy sitting in my chest and to be honest, this whole afternoon, Scorpio, this whole day and afternoon, my my energy has been unbalanced. I've been feeling anxiety in my stomach, anxiety in my throat. 
Um, I feel like my sacral chakra is blocked. I feel like my throat chakra is having an issue. And I feel as though, I feel this very intense energy from this reading and I don't know why. But I feel as though there has to be some forgiveness in order for both parties to be able to carry forward, not necessarily to have each other in their lives. Let's get that straight. Just because you forgive someone or they forgive you, it doesn't mean you have to be inclusive. It doesn't mean you have to love them and bring them back into the fold. That's not what it means. What it means is you've forgiven them for yourself so you no longer have to carry the burden. They've forgiven you for themselves so they no longer have to carry the burden. So um, I feel like in in the future that this does get accomplished because I do see that the Queen of Wands is here. Look how happy she is, right? Happy and fiery. And the Queen of Wands usually gets what she wants, right? She she is someone who is very confident, who can deliver information and get information and still be confident in all the things that are going on around her, um, whether uh, they be heavy things or not. I feel like there's going to be an evening of energy here, a very grounded energy. I feel that you two will become grounded, that you'll become, you know, there'll be reciprocity in the things that you talk about. I feel like you guys are going to become even and you may not forgive and forget, but you definitely will end up in forgiveness. Now, why do I think that's true? Because here she is, the Empress. The Empress is the person who brings all together. She is the person who um, she is Taurus. She is the person who is creating life, who is, uh, you know, giving life and breathing life into things. She's very creative. She is someone who's very connected to spirit. She could be in her, you know, 30s, 40s, 50s. And she is someone who has knowledge of all the queens. She is very balanced. She has the great, great words that she can use. But because she has the balance of the queen of, of um, pentacles, the queen of um, uh, cups and the Queen of Wands um, and the Queen of Swords, she is able to bring people together. She is the mother of the deck and so she is the matriarch. I feel like this could be a grandmother, um, a, a, a great grandmother, a mother, someone who has been left as the matriarch of this family or you could have a matriarch and a group of friends. Uh, someone that that is highly respected in your group of friends. I feel this feels to me like there was a, an argument, a breakup of a group of people. People are now scattered. Some people got blocked. Um, that there was um, someone who was hoping, um, and I feel it's the matriarch that was hoping for um, for this resurrection to come, for this. Um, reconciliation to come of this group of people or this family and they're coming together um, because it is time to do that it's time to love again and it's time to just drop drop the the things that have that have been causing the problems you know sometimes we sometimes we live from our egos and we don't realize we're living from our egos and so we demand or we demand you say that you forgive me we demand an apology and apologies cannot be demanded they have to be given willingly and so i feel like there is somebody here like a matriarch or someone older who is going to give you some advice that's going to say look this person is sick and you don't know it or this person is having a hard time and you don't know it or something like that and that person's going to bring it all together for you um, the hanged man i find that you're that you don't trust this person still you don't trust them. You feel as though there's some deceit, things they're not telling you, things that have gone on in the dark, things that have gone on in the past that they're not being honest about. And that's why you're trying to find any possible way to be able to forgive them. You're trying to look at things from a different point of view. I feel like eventually you do end up... Um, end up uh, bringing your good energy, which kind of floods a room, because that's what the Queen of Wands will do. She's very responsible for the energy she brings to a room, and she's very, her energy just, you can see the energy that's bouncing off her hand here. The energy is very much about um, being spread across a room, because that's what she does. Uh, everybody notices when she's there, because she's very high energy. Um, I think that you're... Um, you know, thinking about whether or not should you, shouldn't you. I think that's what all this juggling is about here. And I think that you do want to have some sort of reconciliation, but you must, you must, Scorpio, have it be balanced. So that person must be as sorry as you, or you're not going through with it. 
Um, and you, I think, are doing this because you need to get the heaviness off of your chest. As I'm going through this reading, the anxiety I have is alleviating a little bit. So that tells me that um, I think that you are going to, um, you're going to, surprisingly enough, I think this is the surprise, that you are going to get very grounded, that you are going to get very balanced. And I feel like you are going to seek some, uh, uh, seek some help either from spirit or from someone who's close to spirit in order to get this family or this group of people or whatever it is um, back in back in line you know so we can just forget about the sadness and anger that's gone on and it's time to have peace there's too much going on in this world and life is too short we know this it's time for us to to come to peace okay so can you please tell me why the hanged man is here Clarify the hangman, please. Clarify the hanged man. There we go. For the hanged man, we do have the queen of swords. Yes. So you're thinking about speaking up. You're thinking about saying, hey, you know what? What you did wasn't right, and I need an apology, and I'm going to apologize to you, and from here forward, we're going to start again. And I feel as though the queen of swords is here to encourage you to speak up, and then we have the nine of wands. You are going to be blocked off. You are going to be have your walls up while you're doing this. But it's okay. It's okay to speak your truth and still feel a little bit, a little bit blocked off. Um, why is the two of pentacles here, please? Two of pentacles. Why is the two of pentacles here, please? Two of pentacles. Oh, there we go. The Two of Pentacles is here because of the Three of Wands. You've been waiting for this. You've been waiting to get this apology or give this apology, get this thing all sewn up and, you know, um, have your plan and have a new beginning. You just have had anxiety about what's been going on um, and you need to get it finished. Now, the Nine of Pentacles is about, you know, um, being very close to abundance. The Nine of Pentacles being single and abundant and you know, you could, maybe you aren't, you are single, maybe the other person's single. You know, it's about um, being strong and being abundant and being um, being um, someone who is very, um, what was I going to say, what's the word? Someone who is very uh, confident in what they do and what they say. But you've been waiting for a long time, thinking about what you're going to do. I still see you waiting. You have been planting the seeds of intention. You may have been doing that with another friend or another member of the family. But I feel like it's time that this this world card here is here to tell you that it's time to close the chapter. It's time for you to come forward or them to come forward, both of you to be able to talk, to be able to... Um, Tell each other that you're sorry and bring this person forward so you can, um, so you can finally uh, put your put your differences aside and uh, carry forward. Because life is too short, guys. Life is too short. That person could be gone in an instant, and uh, you want to be able to make peace with them before um, before things happen that uh, could be detrimental. Why is the King of Swords here? Because of the Ace of Pentacles. The King of Swords is here because this is needs to come quickly this brand new start here this abundant brand new start perhaps financially but i feel it's more emotionally and abundance related that this person um, needs to come forward quickly or you need to come forward quick, quickly so there is um a, a new start happening here with the ace of the ace of pentacles and then we have the two of cups i think you really love this person they're either a really good friend or um maybe they are someone who is an ex from the past and that doesn't mean you're getting back together it just means you've forgiven them and you've l left the burden with them and um, i think it's someone who was significant in your life i feel like you're going to take the opportunity to be able to um, mend fences here. I feel like the King of Wands is someone who's going to reach out and just say, hey, going to be the first person. I think that whomever has this energy, whether it's you or them, or is going to be the first person to step up and say, hey, 
you know what? I forgive you because I haven't seen you in a while. I love you. I forgive you. And that is going to be the justice. Things are then going to come back into balance. And um, we have the sun. The sun's then going to shine. Everyone's going to grow. Um, they're all going to, you guys are all going to grow together. And um, opportunities are going to arise because when you remove energetic blocks like that, it, it, it is um, learning a karmic lesson and everyone does then grow um, from that experience, right? Through some cards. Hang on a sec here. There we go. All right. So we have the Seven of Swords and then we have the King of Cups in reverse clarifying the Seven of Swords. Now, I think the King of Cups is in the reverse because this is going to be highly emotional. You are going to let them know that you don't trust them still and and that they are going to have to be the one who is going to who is going to um, agree to the terms of um, the forgiveness. Wait a sec here. Just gotta get a card that I dropped. Sorry, working in a small space, guys. All right. So I think that there is um, going to be, you know some highly emotional conversations that are going to take place. Emotions are going to bubble over. I think there's going to be um, a couple people in the group who are going to be highly emotional. And I think this is what your fear is. So I think that is what the fear of deceit is. I feel like this is even though there is going to be um, highly emotional conversation, I think that's what's making you nervous. I think that's what's scaring you. Why is the moon card here? Too many. Why is the moon card here, please? Moon card here. The moon card here is here because you just want to get back to a stable and sturdy relationship with this person. And they are someone from your past, either a childhood friend, someone you used to be in love with, maybe um, a cousin, a mother, a father. Yeah, there is an opportunity here with the Four of Pentacles to either hold it close to the chest or be vulnerable with these people and I think it's vulnerability you're going to pick. Why is the judgment card here please? Judgment card. Why is the judgment card here please? The judgment card is here because of the ace of swords. Yeah, there's going to be a lot of conversation, brand new conversation and it is with this conversation with this person coming from the past, you are going to make a judgment and then you are going to decide whether you're going to completely cut that person out of your life or whether you're just, just going to continue to um, speak with them. You are undecided. Should I? Shouldn't I? Should I? Shouldn't I? You're undecided at this point going into this current energy here. You do want to put down the burdens. You no longer want to walk with your eyes covered, hoping you don't fall into the flames. You don't want to live in that energy anymore. So I'm hoping that this is going to work out for you here. Why is the Queen of Pentacles here? Queen of Pentacles is here because grounded energy which is leveled out which is um i believe um very um highly intuitive energy i believe this is going to bring you to a place of um emotional happiness so i do see this being resolved in the current energy here i feel like someone is going to accept um either is going to ask for forgiveness with sincerity or they're going to be the one who is going to decide to forgive and forget. Got here. We've got Ace of Wands and this is something that you're very passionate about. So there's going to be a passionate fun time and things are going to start working forward. Why is the Queen of Wands here please? Why is the Queen of Wands here please? Queen of Wands here because there was a lot of thought that went into this, that you've decided you're going to take your energy, enter that room and say, hey, I'm here and boy, did I miss you. Get over here. I want to hug you or something like that. And um, you are going to be the person who is going to step forward first, Scorpio, because you're highly intuitive and you are going to feel their, their energy, the forgiveness in them. And I think you're going to move forward first. And why is the Six of Pentacles here? 
And that's after a long thought process, by the way. The hermit's here. You've thought about what you're going to do. You made a plan, and you're going to have this new beginning. This Six of Pentacles is here because of the Eight of Pentacles. You've been working really hard on how to give this person reciprocity. You just want things to be even again. You don't want to, to have anger and sadness among you. And then we have the uh, Knight of Swords in reverse. Things stop right here. I feel like you guys stop right here. I feel like things get even, things get worked out. You have lots of conversation, new beginnings start. They ask with sincerity. I feel like um, that is uh, going to um, be resolved. It's going to resolve itself because there's lots of talking going on. The King of Swords is here. And the King of Swords, along with the intuitiveness of this... Um, this empress, I believe that this is a really good combination of speaking your truth while listening to spirit. So softening of the words, softening of the things. You know, the king of swords is usually very harsh with their words, but I feel as though that the reason that the empress is here, because she is the mother, she is the matriarch, she is the one who is the kind, soft, beautiful, creative person. I feel like it's going to soften the words of the king of swords. And here we go with temperance. Yeah, and it's going to bring you back into balance and then we have this new beautiful new start love is everywhere and I I feel really strongly that this is going to be something that is um, something that is going to be resolved that has been a long time coming just get my other cards here it's been a long time coming for this to be resolved I don't know who it's with but um, let's see if we can get you some more information here. What is going to be the outcome here? Yeah, adjacent possibilities, which means there's more than one way around this. You can take any door. There's more than one way around this. Um, it doesn't have to be, you know, um, the answers don't have to be this or that. It can be any possible way that you guys can find, figure out a way to fix this is... Um, is exactly what you need and you will do that together I believe you'll find uh, ways to figure out what's going on I feel like the journey that you're going to take with this person is going to be a kind one you're going to start all over again and then this is a place the temple path is a place where you go to pray a place where you go to meet people it's a social place um, so I feel like there is going to be you know, family and friends, this journey that you're going to take back into the family and friends. I feel like this has been a long time coming and it could very well even open a door to romance. So this could be, this could be someone who um, you had loved previously, someone who had been watching you from afar. This, you guys, is so misunderstood as anger. Envy is not anger. Envy is someone who is looking from afar, wishing that they could take part, wishing they could be with you, wishing they could be you, wishing they could do the things that you do, wishing, 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 wishing. That's what envy is. Envy is wishing for things that you do not have. And I think one of the things that your person is um, wishing for is to forgive and forget. I feel you're going to get a sincere apology or you're going to give a sincere apology. And it looks like things are going to come around because you're going to be prepared, Scorpio. So it looks like this is going to be a wonderful time wherever you're going. So if you have made plans to go into a group of people, group of friends, a family reunion, it's going to all work out. Don't be nervous about going into that group. Just find that person and say, hey, I've really missed you. Let's just drop all of our energy here and let's start all over again because we have a new journey to take together and that's to the temple path where we can be social in amongst our friends and love each other. All right, that's all I have for you, Scorpio, and I will see you next uh, the next time. Um, yeah, we'll see you next Monday with your new reading, okay? Bye, guys. Thanks for coming and reading. Or thanks for coming and watching the reading.